Hey everyone, it's Mario Time 1000. A few years ago, I made a video titled Ryan Sieg Does Some Things. This video was a compilation of some highlights from the NASCAR Xfinity Series team, RSS Racing, specifically the driver Ryan Sieg. This is a driver that I've been following very closely since the end of 2015. The team RSS Racing is a small family owned and operated team. They don't have as much as some of the bigger teams that they run against have. But this team defies the odds and goes above and beyond with what they have and it's really fun to watch them. 2019 was a huge year, not only for Ryan Sieg, but his whole team. Because of that, I felt it was fitting to make a sequel to that old video talking about their 2019 success. Now a few things happened before the season began that were instrumental in their success. First, RCR decided to downsize from three full-time Xfinity Series teams to just one. This allowed RSS Racing to purchase some new equipment, and with RCR being one of the top teams in the Xfinity Series, this wasn't just new equipment, but it was also really good too. They also were able to tab veteran crew chief Shane Wilson to help with their efforts. These improvements showed almost immediately. In the season opener at Daytona, Ryan Sieg was able to bring it home in fourth place, his first top five since his second place finish at Iowa in 2017. Not only that, but one of the team's other cars, the 93 driven by Jeff Green, finished 7th, the team's first ever double top 10. Sieg was always pretty good on the super speedways, so it wasn't until the following races where people really started to notice the massive improvement. A solid 11th place finish in Atlanta, a 6th place finish in Las Vegas, and 10th in Phoenix, with one top 5 and three top 10s, Ryan Sieg had already matched the stats of his entire 2016 season, which at the time was his best season, and now he had done it in just four races. A few weeks later, the Xfinity teams would head to Texas where Sieg and fellow overachiever Ross Chastain would stay out under caution near the end of stage two. Christopher Bell won our first stage from the pole. Stage two looks like it's going to go to Ryan Sieg, who has never won a stage in his Xfinity career. This is really fun to watch. And Ross Chastain hanging on the second. Battling hard. Chastain has competed in every NASCAR event this year. Gander Outdoors Truck Series, Xfinity, and Monster Energy NASCAR Cup. He's going to be second in stage number two to Ryan Sieg, who sees wow. the green and white checkered flag. Congratulations to him in that race team. So many good things happening for him in 2019. This would be Sieg's first stage win. And while a race win would have definitely meant a lot more, this stage win was proof that if you put the 39 in front, it could hold off the pack. A few races later, Sieg would score his second top five of the season at Richmond. An interesting note about this race was that seven-time championship winning crew chief Chad Knauss was in the booth for this race. Man, I am loving that 39 car. It is amazing how well they've done. Got him some, about you, got him some new equipment, a new sponsor on the side of that 39 car. And this team has proven that they're going to be in the playoffs. The following week in Talladega, Sieg would qualify fourth, improving his best career starting spot, which was previously eighth. They would spend most of the race inside the top five before the unpredictable nature of a super speedway race would relegate them to a 16th place finish. The winter and spring months would end with an eighth place finish at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Heading into the summer months, the team would face quite a few hardships. There were a lot of really good runs that they had going, but for one reason or another, they couldn't seal the deal. In Iowa, the team once again played pitch strategy to a T and made it up as high as third, spending most of the later stages of the race in the top five before contact with Noah Gregson resulted in a 12th place finish. 
in a chaotic night race at Bristol, Sieg ran as high as second during the late stages, battling with the defending and eventual season champion Tyler Reddick. However, contact with the wall and subsequent mechanical issues put them in the garage in 25th. Despite the misfortune, Sieg was still able to put three more top 10s in before the end of the regular season. 9th in Kentucky, 8th in New Hampshire, and 10th at Indianapolis. And in the midst of all of the highs and lows of the summer, a huge development occurred. CMR Construction and Roofing, which had already sponsored the team for a few races in the season, announced they would be coming on board full time as a sponsor for the 2020 season. Even with the success 2019 brought, Sieg still had some races where they went unsponsored, so having the insurance of a full-time sponsor and the fact that this was the first time they ever had a full-time sponsor, it was a big deal. Maybe the most important thing that happened to them in the season. So keeping everything in mind, I don't think it's fair to say the summer months were bad. I mean, the sponsorship announcement alone would have been enough to call them good. In terms of the results, I think unlucky is the perfect way to describe them, and their strong run throughout the entire regular season would be enough to put Ryan Sieg in the Xfinity Series playoffs for the second time. However, the jubilance of the playoffs would be short-lived. Despite a 10th place finish in Dover, RSS Racing was still a family-run team in a field of juggernauts, and unfortunately, they were unable to advance past round one. And while I'm sure the elimination was a disappointment, the 39 team was still looking to impress. The aforementioned 10th place finish in Dover was followed by a 9th place finish in Kansas and another 10th in Texas. Three consecutive top 10 finishes. And much to the trend of this season, this was the first time the team accomplished this. The final two races saw Sieg finish 13th and 12th, respectively, a solid cap on what was a truly impressive season. 2019 was a career year for Ryan Sieg. Prior to the season, Sieg had a total of three top fives and nine top tens. In 2019, he got two top fives and 12 top tens. Also, an average start of 14.1 and an average finish of 14.6 would be an improvement of almost five positions from his 2018 season. Oddly, the only category they didn't best was their final points position, as Ryan finished 11th in points, whereas best was 9th in 2016, a year in which Sieg scored just three top tens. But even then, I don't think you'll see anyone from the RSS Racing Camp complain. Now, I wrote the script for this video before the Xfinity race in Las Vegas. In the original script, I said that 2020 would be another career year for Ryan Sieg, and even though they lost Shane Wilson as a crew chief, with a little bit of luck, he could probably win a race. But after Vegas, I'm changing my prediction. In 2020, there is no probably this is definite. Ryan Sieg will win a race. Had things gone just a little bit differently, he could have won in Las Vegas. I can't say when this first win's gonna happen though. Maybe in their home race in Atlanta, that'd be a good story, but they were pretty darn fast on the tracks like Richmond, Iowa, and Bristol, so maybe a short track will be the site of the win. I'm not sure, I just know it's gonna happen. And now I can tell you guys that I was actually in Daytona for the 500, and in that weekend, I got my custom Ryan Sieg car signed by Ryan Sieg. I was originally going to put this in a different video, but I don't think I'm going to end up making that video, so I figured this is a good place to put it, because I don't really know how to end this one. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.